Welcome back to the channel YouTube. Splitting Wigs here with another update on Warface Breakout. And uh, just first game since the July 1st update. They did say it was a smaller one, but I mean, one of the main issues I've said before is this entrance time to get into a game. I rendered it down eight times the speed because this was five minutes it took me to get into a game tonight. You know, you get done putting the kids down to bed, you want to come down, just relax. Five minutes to get into a game. And it's my first game since the update, so I was like getting a little bit irritated. I jump in, this is what I get. It's not it's rendered times eight. But when I finally get in, five minutes later, I see this broken ass screen right here. <laughs> so definitely not too uh confidence inspiring when you haven't played a game since the last patch. And I said I wasn't, and I didn't, just because there's other games out right now. I mean, I'm streaming Last of Us. I'm playing Call of Duty. Um, you know, messing around with MotoGP, the game. So this one's just going to sit. And as much as I do like parts of this game, I'm just not going to play it when it's like this. I mean, now, what, there is some positives. There, there actually is some positives that I've noticed um, since the July 1st update. That I can tell they're definitely working on some stuff, but... They did say that there's going to be a large patch coming out, and they have been just doing small hot fixes for now. But I think they need to just ditch that and just tell everyone, look, we're sorry we charged you $20 for a beta. Uh, bear with us. Just play it as is. And they shouldn't have wasted their time with these smaller updates. They should have just let us know that we paid 20 bucks for a beta and just went hard to work on letting... Like, like they do with a the beta, they let you play it for weeks or even, you know, a month, maybe six weeks. And then after that, they get all the data pulled together and do one massive, huge fix before they drop the game. They should have just did that. All these little small fixes are just kind of like a letdown, to be honest. But uh, right out of the gate, though, positive is it does feel like they sped up the movement speed a little bit. And they got the, uh, it seems like the grenades you know do seem to work better um they look better too but they throw better and uh the, the actual motion they put this little uh heady in here on this map which which helps uh the balance of this map a lot um and this poor guy here i, I pick him off i jump and headshot him <laughs> but um they did made some map changes that were positive uh the movement speed's a little bit better um the game still does it's normal issues. I'm not even going to get into it. Everyone knows what they are. They've mentioned it on their social media. I've mentioned it in my past videos. Um, so pretty much most all of the problems that they have said they're aware of are still there. Um, but at least they're you know definitely making improvements. Um, so you know you get into a game it takes forever to get in. You see that broken screen. Right out of the gate, I start moving faster. I get excited. And then I see the map changes. I get even more excited. And then I get into these quick little gunfights, and it still drops frames. It still feels like the game doesn't know what to do with itself, especially if you set off a bomb. Like, I I plant a bomb, and when the bomb goes off, God forbid you are doing anything with a gunfight of any kind, you're going to... The game almost shuts off. Um, and, it like, even some of the environment dropped uh, when the bomb went off the round before this one I think um, so they do have many issues um, and watch this freaking jump turn headshot oh god I bet he was pissed he had to drop on me big time but I you know jump spin aimbot onto his head with my uh, scuff so if you're interested in a scuff and want to see a review I got some honest reviews on my channel go check those out while you're here please like subscribe uh, stick around see what's up with this game if you want quick videos, not 10 minutes long, dragging things out, please subscribe. I try to cover everything I can. Uh, reviews, different games, but I try to keep them short and quick and to the point. Usually around 5 minutes. Uh, if I get into a 10 minute video, it's for, for something pretty important. But uh, once again, I'm probably done with this game. Uh, I, I don't think that I'm going to really play it. I mean, I, I go MVP, I have one death, a plant, I wrecked them, and... I just don't want to play it. It's, it's just, it needs too many things fixed, unfortunately. But please, watch one of the videos on your screen. Much appreciated. Thanks for stopping by. Splitting wigs out. And I'll catch you on the next one.